Uh, Presiding Officer, uh, bad news, it's Wendy's last speech. I don't expect it will be mine, that's the second part of the bad news. Um, let me add uh, my personal congratulations to Wendy on uh, what has been distinguished and often very interesting, brackets sometimes for the wrong reasons, uh, career. Uh, and indeed I extend uh, uh, congratulations to Cathy on her uh, leaving this place, uh, two of the six uh, female members who will be voluntarily uh, standing down uh, uh, at this time uh, round. Um, it's worth saying that uh, the committee uh, has turned out better than I feared, uh, but has achieved less uh, than I hoped. Uh, there has been some discussion about the committee's approach uh, by Murda Fraser and most latterly by uh, Linda Fabiani, the Latin uh, phrase quis custodiet ipsus custodies, um, 2,000 years old, who will guard the guards, uh, shows that this is not a new uh, issue uh, for politicians. Uh, anyway, Robert Brown uh, suggested this is the last major debate of the Parliament. Well, we're not packed to the rafters, I, I have to say, and that we strengthen a federal uh, structure of the UK. Well, I was at a dinner in Newcastle on Tuesday night and sitting uh, with a number of liberal politicians uh, who, who run the city of Newcastle, and I'm not going to name names because uh, it was unattributable, uh, but I think it, it's very clear that we have an asymmetric uh, federal structure, if we have one at all, that leaves uh, colleagues uh, of the Liberal Party here perhaps much less uh, e excited. Wendy Alexander said it's the first specialist committee to study your bill. I think she meant the first specialist committee to study UK uh, bill. Um, and reminded us that the UK government announced the EYF will be clawed back. Well, of course, doesn't that precisely illustrate uh, the difficulties of being in continued thrall uh, to the Treasury uh, from going on? Uh, now, uh, Peter Peacock uh, talking about states. States across the world have many ranges of power. In the United States, they have sales tax, they have corporation tax, and so on and so forth. Uh, there have been uh, talks about uh, income tax, but I don't think uh, that we've seen much in the way of proposals about how the UK government might implement what's in the bill. And indeed, I'm always uh, wary uh, of geeks bearing gifts uh, when they are Labour Party geeks, uh, because, of course, uh, Guido Fox, one of the most prominent bloggers, has today reported that the Labour Party itself is £36 million in debt. Let me just turn briefly to a couple of issues which have been briefly ventilated. Um, there are 225 uh, paragraphs of conclusions and recommendations in, in the committee's very substantial uh, report. Three of them are on Antarctica. I will say a little more about that. Insolvency, four paragraphs. Health regulations, four paragraphs. I think they are more important uh, than those four paragraphs uh, would suggest. In relation to bankruptcy, we have a very different approach to bankruptcy in Scotland. We have different terminology uh, for various stages uh, of financial difficulties that individuals and companies can experience. Uh, we have absolutely no guarantee that the UK insolvency service would be able to uh, adapt its uh, processes and resource itself uh, to take over uh, what is done by the accountant in bankruptcy in Scotland. Uh, there is little doubt that the case for this has not been made in the context. Uh, very briefly, Mr. Robert Brown. Brown. I wonder if Sir Stevens has read the letter from the Law Society of Scotland, who should know a little bit about this, who take, frankly, the opposite view because of the technical difficulties of the current situation. Sir Stevens. Well, there are many technical difficulties that cross boundaries. The, the issue is, is it possible to work within them? And are there distinct advantages to having our own system that is capable of being adapted more rapidly than it would be if the powers are returned to Westminster? We can act rapidly uh, when we require to do so. It is more difficult to, uh, otherwise. The other issue, the regulation of health professionals, it's certainly the case the General Pharmaceutical Council uh, indicate that having dispersed powers in this regard creates no problem. They do not foresee that there is any need to centralise uh, in London uh, these issues. 
Um, Jeremy Purvis talked of Gladstone's Midlothian campaign when I heard him speak in Midlothian. Um, well, not quite, but uh, my liberal family did discuss this, the Midlothian campaign, at uh, lunch once. I do recall that Irish Home Rule split uh, the Liberal Party. Most of them joined the Tories, plus a change, perhaps. Uh, so, very little different. And, of course, in relation to the parliamentary question uh, that Mr. Uh, Purvis referred to, he should of course have informed the House that there will be no effect on projects that are being funded by the Scottish Government and indeed the issue is simply one of getting the money out of Europe and into uh, Scottish uh, hands. This has been a debate about principle where we fundamentally I think see broad agreement uh, but on the issues of tactics, uh, there has been much uh, less agreement. Today's debate is not the end of the matter. Uh, we all wish uh, more debate later, and we certainly hope that that more debate will lead to something uh, that suits Scotland's needs even better.